Guess who we are talking to next? The first woman to drive a car in the enclave of Somaliland. The first woman there to travel abroad for higher education. One of the first to become a minister and work with the World Health Organization. Have you guessed yet? I'll tell you. Let's find out more about Edna Adan Ismail, the founder of the best maternity hospital in her region. Some true stories eclipse fiction. Edna Anans is among those. Founding the top maternity hospital in Somaliland was just the culmination of a list of achievements in an extraordinary life. She was the first woman from her country to go to the UK for higher education. She went on to carve out a career at the World Health Organization and become a government minister. I had that opportunity that very few girls uh, had at that time to learn to read and write. And something I was very passionate about because I love schools, I love learning, and it was a great opportunity for me. I consider myself very lucky. Edna Adan is a leading advocate of women's rights and education in a male-dominated world. Having broken down the barriers, she's an inspiration to others and was recently named one of the 100 most influential women in Africa. She says the maternity hospital, founded in 2002, is her way of passing on the privileges she received. Above all, the hospital is her home, the place where she lives and works. I decided that I would come here and I would build a hospital and spend whatever life and time God gives me here, in Hargeisa, Somaliland, teaching and give, being an example for others to come home, to come back from the diaspora and rebuild their country. In Somaliland, one in eight children die during childbirth and mothers are also at serious risk. Since the hospital opened its doors, Edna and her team have trained more than 300 midwives and delivered more than 14,000 babies. It's just 20 years after the war, so there's a lot of health issues, there's a lot of um, issues with um, pregnant women, there's a lot of issues with, um, with the infant mortality rate and other health issues within sanitation. So it's very important to teach um, nurses and also midwives and give them the skills and the qualifications to help the community. Despite all her achievements, Edna Adan still retains a young girl's enthusiasm for new challenges and she puts that down to having had an education. If I hadn't gone to school, I wouldn't be here today. School is, is, is an opportunity that everybody should have regardless of whether you're a girl or a boy.